It says he carried the dream to be king from the day Samuel anointed him, but he did not feel worthy to marry the king's daughter. Now that's a very interesting thing. David had the faith to kill Goliath, but he did not have enough identity to receive the reward. And we're going to cover this more in depth, but this is a part I want you to understand. While David's faith was fully functional, when he was to receive the king's daughter as a reward, he said, who am I? Now that's a very important question. If you don't know who you are, you cannot embrace the new season your faith can give you. Every victory is not just to give you, uh, in a sense, a uh, a sense that you're anointed every victory is actually to shift your identity and if you don't understand that you you don't get the most out of the victories God has given you because as you win he wants you to see yourself differently at another level and if you're you will shift your identity actually it opens up other opportunities each step that God was establishing David's identity the enemy was trying to steal it we have to understand the enemy does not play fair. He is not fair. He's a thief. He is uh, not only annoying, he's destructive. And the truth is, he is not just after our anointing. I know he's not just after our faith. I really believe if there's one thing he's after, he's after your identity. Because if he can steal your identity, he can cancel your assignments. Identity and assignments actually flow together. And if I lose my identity, then I don't understand my purpose. Defeating Goliath required faith, but to take the throne required identity. Your faith can take down Goliath, yet you can be struggling to sit on the throne. This scripture, uh, which I'll talk about later, when David presented uh, presented the head of Goliath to King Saul and King Saul said I'm gonna give you my daughter what came out of David's mouth was who am I and who's my family there's gonna come a time when you're you're going to have to see your identity apart from your natural family but when he said who am I what David was really saying is I'm carrying the dream to be the next king it's in my faith, but it's not in the way I see myself. And, and literally, this became a problem in David's life because of everything he had been through. We can see here his identity before the king was actually unraveled. It was a huge step between being that shepherd and, and being uh, married into the king's family. Now, if you're believing, to be the next king of Israel, marrying the king's daughter is a very natural step. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. David should have said, yes, this is my door. But he actually had the faith to kill Goliath. I'm going to say it one more time, but he didn't have enough identity to step through the door of his destiny.